Hey everybody, the bond goes back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami. Alright, before we go over to the port, I did do a few things, like off screen because it was just needless grinding. Um, I got more uh, completion points, so now I'm at 9. I need 6 more to get what I need for the next item upgrade. Um, I also picked up the last, uh, Mesu King card, the Ashy Gray Ladybug. I just basically had to duel opponents 20 times, and at least rather win 20 times. It's a pretty good strength card for a uh, rock variant at least, so there's that. So, okay, I guess this goes by this is the best scissors one and this is the best paper one because their backgrounds are different. I didn't even notice that. Oh, this one's really good, too. Wow. That's pretty neat, I guess. Um, another thing is that I fought Majima a couple times, and I got a call saying, like, from Nishida saying that, Oh, taxis are awesome! I'm like, why would you talk about taxis? I guess we'll find out. What if I just took a taxi? Yep, Majima is now a taxi driver. This guy really gets around. Hmm? Hey, where are we? Why would you take me here? Many. Hmm? Thank you very much for using Majima Taxi Company as your transportation of choice today. How was your ride, sir? Uh, it wasn't bad, actually. But you owe me an explanation. Huh. I figured you were buttoned right up against that old dragon of Dojima strength you used to have. And this was the perfect testing ground. Hmm? Why here? If I'm gonna have a real fight with a dragon, I can't run the risk of interruptions. Out here, we'll get the peace and quiet we need. The question is, why are we fighting this time? How's this? I won't let you go home till we fight. That work for ya? Or I guess you could always walk. You might make it back to Camarocho in a couple days. Uh. I could call a real taxi to fix that problem. You know I have a cell phone now. Yeah. Nah, a taxi would never make it. The Majima family has this area on lockdown. Even a cop car would flip a bitch as soon as he saw the iron wall of Majima. You're serious about this then? So just to make sure, if I win, I get to go back home? Huh. Of course. I'll even drive you back personally. Huh. Then I guess I better hold back enough to make sure you can still hit the gas. Oh, some big talk. But I'm going all out this time. If you don't want to drift out to sea, come at me hard. Oh, he's got the knife. This could be bad. Unless I disarm you first! Good thing I still had a full climax meter. Which allowed me to do extra damage. And I got some drinks into me, so I guess that also helps. Oh, thought I could actually get him. Damn it! I love if I miss one attack, I'm hit for a whole combo because he's so fast. Again, I don't even know if I can just parry a blade attack. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to match style with style.
Okay, can you like slow down? Ah, oh, damn it. Man, this guy better look out once I finally get my uh, dragon uh, style a bit stronger. Still kind of weak as is. Which sadly means I gotta fight Majima a lot. Just even get it to this point that I need it to. Speaking of dragon. What? What do you mean he got most of his health back from that? I didn't even get a chance to do my uh, Kiwami attack. Guess I don't have it unlocked. And sadly, one of those skilled kill tree cards involved me fighting him in the zombie form. And I still haven't been able to do it because he never shows up as a zombie. Like, I've never seen zombie Majima once since the first time. Ever. So, you might get stuck on that skill tree because of it. What if it's something I really need? Ow. My, my arm. I'm not supposed to get a knife in it. Oh my god. It's like everything knocks me down. Knock down again. It's like he goes through a spur where he just like quick steps every single thing you do. It's almost like you can only hit him when he's laughing at you. I've had enough of this fucker. I gotta heal. Like, if I don't have the essence move for dragon, I can't do anything in this phase. Well, I'm only gonna just throw him into the water. Stayed on too. <clears throat> you really don't know when to quit. How many skills do you keep hidden? <laughs> Classic Kiryu Chan. Only you could come to this much into this much of your old strength in the time I've allowed you. Whatever. I won the fight. Take me back to Camarocho. Yeah. Not yet. It ain't enough. Mm -hmm. What? You still ain't complete. It's almost there, but just shy of the mark. Before you're really the dragon of Dojima. The day's coming soon when we'll be able to enjoy ourselves a real fight. I'm chopping at the bit to go for real myself. Uh, yeah. Well then, let's get home. Majima Taxi Company at your service.
I don't even know what fare he would charge me outside of battle. For all these fights he instigates, is Majima-san also remembering the abilities he used to have? The time to settle this once and for all is coming soon. I better do what I can for now. Tanfa Nunchaku Mastery. That's it? <coughs> I think I do have Tanfa though. So I guess it ain't all that bad. Dragon Speed Reborn. Regain your lightning fast fast attacks lightning fast attack speed when using the dragon of Dojima style. Doesn't matter what your health gauge is. Ooh, that would be really useful. I don't think I've got an email from them yet saying what I need to do. Essence of Sumo Slapping. And this allows me to hold on to heat longer than you could before while you were in Dragon of Dojima style. But sadly, I still can't do it. Essence of Mad Dog Chokehold. Wait. Was I supposed to be behind the enemy to use the Kiwami attack? What am I still missing? Sumo Slapping, Dragon Slow Burn 1, Dragon Speed Reborn, Dragon Slow Burn 2, Quick Step Cancel, Finishing Hold Reborn. That Kamaki Parry and the Kamaki Tiger Drop, I can deal with those. Okay, I need to be an SS for Dagger Mastery. Dragon Strength 2. Double Finisher Reborn. Yellow Dragon Spirit. Wait, do I already have Dragon Strength 1? I might already have that. I don't remember getting it. Huh. Oh, maybe if I equip a dagger, I can just use the Kiwami finisher. Yeah, there's still a lot of things I need to do. It's crazy. How many more points do I need to get the, uh, another piece of equipment? I need six more. And I only fought him in the uh, Mad Dog form for the first time. I'm sure most of my stuff can be unlocked through like uh, eateries and like mini games. I'm not really a big fan of the mini games as much because it'll take up quite a bit of time. All right, turns out I didn't even have enough points or enough rank to actually unlock the next tournament, so I had to do another fight off screen. So I went ahead and did this one. The bat is great for this uh, particular event. So Breakout GP actually gets you a lot of points. And all you have to do is just like knock the fighter off the edge. So what I like to do, again, go with the bat, break a hole on purpose, and try to lure the opponent near the ledge. Tends to work every time. I say as I get myself completely bodied by this dude with a katana. Okay, so now we have two holes. No! Of course! As soon as I do this on video, I lose immediately. It never fails. Good job, are you sure? Are you sure about that? Because I had to use a healing item. I'm going to try that again. Every other time I did this particular tournament, I've won. Handedly. And as soon as I hit recording, I lose. Never fails. Look at this guy. Okay! I wasn't even aiming at him and I still knocked him down. And his sledgehammer is floating. 
Kokue, Riku, yeah, that's the one that the throwing knives. Go do it. Huh! If he goes down first, even if I fall, it doesn't count. Yeah, this one's great for, uh, getting points, because you can end it so fast. Oh, this fucker again. He's just waiting for me to commit. Did he just knock himself over? I didn't even need to hit him. Oh, wow, I unlocked the last Grand Prix, huh? There we go, I did it. What is the next one even called? Do I want to try it? Magnum Force GP. The invitation-only Grand Prix of Dreams, only accessible to previous winners of the Hyper Grand Prix. Okay, well, I guess I'll hold off on that for now. Maybe if I get more uh, abilities for Dragon, I'll do it. So I do have enough uh, points to get Tiger. And I need like maybe, yeah, just over 4,000 more for Dragon. So that actually should not take me very long to get there. Which is very good, in my opinion. Oh, well, I guess I'll go get another move from Kamaki. And I only need to get one more from him. What do I need to do for this? Oh, my favorite student. Did you come for your next session? And if you brought with you the image of a tiger? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Let's do this. Oh, you have the image of a tiger, do you? Let us begin. Kiryu, I would have you fight this man. He doesn't look like he'd be easy to beat. Just so. I've seen that your aura is like a dragon, but I've likewise seen something similar to a tiger inside him. Mm -hmm. Similar to a tiger? Sounds cheesy. Could you be a little less vague? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he is somewhat different from a true tiger. I see. If you have the caliber to crush this contender, then you certainly qualify to master the three sec secret techniques. Understood. Are there any rules or limits to this fight? Yeah. None. Simply defeat this man without any cheap trickery. Mm. So he's that strong, huh? Okay. Sounds good. Your training will be complete if you defeat this man. So get in there and just do it. Okay. Defeat Raizo Shiba, the Bone Crusher Phantom. Looks like he's trying to crush my bones immediately. Okay, I'm off to a pretty good start. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh, that's a good combo. It does help that whenever I'm in heat mode as dragon, it's automatically climax damage. If you can get your heat up, of course. So far, so good. I think what I really need to do is just wait for him to, to commit to an attack. Before I even try one myself. 
And that's really my problem. I try to be too aggressive first. Got him. I like that delay. You have successfully defeated your enemy. For this, I shall teach you the Kamaki Tiger Drop. Deliver a strong blow simultaneous with the enemy's attack. The ability to see through the assault is highly important. Hmm. Tiger Drop. Indeed. This technique is the strongest skill in our style. As an individual attack, it deals the most damage. You could call it a deadly blow that has been refined to perfection. Mm -hmm. Could I defeat a real tiger with this attack? <laughs> oh, I wonder. I never faced such a beast, so I do not know. And there is no account of any such feat taking place in the history of our school. <sighs> oh, so it's just a name. Long ago, there was a man who said the same thing. How very nostalgic. I'll tell you what I told him. The tiger of these teachings represents a powerful opponent, not a beast. Someone stronger than me, huh? It is foolhardy to face someone stronger than you head on. One must take a step back, assess their movements, and wait for the perfect opportunity to deliver a single deadly blow. I see. You need to develop your skills on your own. There are many who would focus on attacking, heedless of the tiger's claws. Remember, the best offense is a good defense. Uh. Got it. Next is the last of the last of the Kamaki style's three secret moves. Bring me the image of a dragon, a prize of the Colosseum. Well, I don't have enough points to get image of a dragon just yet. But soon it will happen. Alright, I should take a look and see what that does. Okay, get in stance with R1, then triangle with an enemy attacks. So it's really just a parry move. Maybe I'll test it out at the tournament. The one I just unlocked. Because I'd say if I can nail the tiger drop timing really well, I could probably bruise through a lot of opponents. Worth a try. And if I win, guess what? I'll have enough points to maybe get the image of a dragon. Magnum Force GP. Let's go. Okay, I faced this guy before. Yep, there's that power. Because he constantly just uses heavy attacks. If I could do that with impunity... That's going to be the end result. Brother Sheenan, alright. Look at that! That was like half his health right there! And my heat just maxes out! Damn! Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be spamming Tiger Drop for maybe the rest of the game. If I can get away with it. Oh, okay. I haven't seen this guy before. Lucha Hawk! This one might be pretty hard to tiger drop. Because of just how fast his moves are. Uh, 
Like, I have to get him when I know an attack is coming. So maybe the best thing to do is just back away. Let him run towards me. Camera, please. Oh my god. You can barely see the frames when he hits you. Oh my god. Sometimes he just knows. didn't work. I'll have to mix it up for you. Oh my god. This guy better not beat me after all this. I almost got him. There. Get out of here. You're done. That got me over 2,000 points right there. But I think I'm better off just using the uh, Breakout Tournament instead, because it's way faster. Alright, I guess I'll try this again when I'm actually got the amount of points. Be right back. Alright, five minutes later, I now have enough. So let's get that image of a dragon. I just barely had enough, though. <laughs> it's crazy. So this will get us our last move. And what I'll still need to do to build up my dragon form is to keep uh, unlocking more ranks in the Majima Everywhere system. And that's going to be a pain in the ass because now that I fight Majima, he actually has a blue health bar. Which is, I guess it's health bar number four. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my prized pupil. Did you come for your next training session? And did you bring me the image of a dragon? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I did. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Oh, ho. you brought the image of a dragon, have you? And let us begin our final training session. Uh -huh. Kiryu, let me say this first. Well done getting this far. Uh. Thanks. Though it still seems like collecting a bunch of old paintings only benefits you. <laughs> oh, is that what you think? Perhaps you shall see. Hmm? So, what's this last training session involve? Am I going to fight someone again? <laughs> Indeed. You'll be fighting me. Nani. What? So the student's finally facing the master, huh? Sayo. Just so. I had my eyes on others for this task, but decided that in the end... Only I could serve as your final challenge. Hmm? Are you sure? To tell you the truth, I've always yearned to fight you. But would have been unfulfilling when you were weaker. So I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. When we first met, I remember you saying that beating me would be easy. I guess now we can see whether or not that was true. <laughs> oh, very well. Come at me with all you can muster, Kiryu. Don't let me down. I won't, because I have the Tiger Drop. Oh, he's got like... He's got a lot of health bars too.
Oh, look at him fly. Come on, try it again. It's crazy how well this works. If you just know to space yourself. Damn! So I guess the heavier the attack, the more damage you do? I'm pretty sure that's what Kamaki was mentioning. Astounding! Then I shall instruct you in the style's final technique, the Kamaki Parry. With this, you'll have mastery over all three of this school's secret moves. Deliver a strong blow simultaneous with the enemy's assault. One's ability to see through the attack is utterly crucial. Hmm? Hey, old man. Are you holding up alright? Don't be ridiculous. I can recover from any blow a fledgling like you could deliver. After a mere minute of meditation. Huh, <laughs> okay. Now, young Kiryu. As for the skill I just taught you, do you know why it is the last of the secret techniques? Yeah. No, not really. But being honest, the tiger drop seems like the stronger move. Sayo. Just so. The tiger drop drops impact is indeed more powerful. The parry, however, lays a bridge to something greater. The path to a summit that here to four was insurmountable. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? There is a move you will be able to produce only after mastering the parry. But not even I could say what that is. There's a move in your school that you don't even know? Yeah. Hey, my skills are complete. But all masters of this style teach themselves to execute a unique move after the parry. You must develop a new technique of your own devising. The Kamaki Perry finishes your repertoire by leaving room to grow. Tis the end of my teaching and your new beginning. <laughs> I see. So the rest is up to me, huh? Come to think of it, the Kamaki style has a lot of moves like that. Hmph! <laughs> Do not speak as if you were all knowing. There is no such thing as the world's strongest style. For no matter how much you learn, the strong are strong and the weak are weak. If that's true, then all this training can mean nothing. In that case, what's the point of a martial arts style? A style is more than a martial art. It is a connection from master to student. A legacy more lasting than a tomb. You are my heir. An inheritor not of wealth, but of wisdom. <laughs> As for myself, I am satisfied our school is a new master. Now it is finally time for a well-earned rest. Mm -hmm. You're going to rest? You don't exactly strike me as a guy who'd settle down and live in peaceful retirement. Bah, I would never lapse into such sluggardly complacence. I'm going to enter the Coliseum. I shall strive to dominate every tournament the arena has to offer. <sighs> That's not what I was expecting. So, Kiryu, there should be many opportunities for us to clash as equal opponents. You best not neglect your training. Uh. Yeah, got it. And you take care of yourself, old man. There we go. We have all his moves. And I got the trophy for it. I still have only one more completion point to get. Or at least I finally got the uh, Dragon Mail by getting those completion points. It was a pain in the ass because a lot of it would involve going to bars. And to max those out, you have to drink a lot. And that really slows you down. But other than that, at least we got, I guess, the best gear in the game. I could be mistaken. Also, it seems that, uh, according to Nishida, uh, Majima could be all across town. Plan forces way into fights around the city. Oh, that's gonna be a fun time. But I also got a call that's not saved here that he's waiting for me in West Park. And there he is right there. Oh, you came, Kiryu-chan. I got the call from Nishida. This is it? The final check? Huh. That's right. I gotta know. Are you the Dragon of Dojima? Or is he still sleeping on the job? 
You are here of your own free will, and my invitation. We're past needing a reason, right? Uh, yeah. Then I'm gonna ask one last time. Are you ready to fight me for real? Sure. Uh. If this will settle the whole thing with you, Majma-san, then I accept the challenge. Huh. Whether or not it's settled all depends on you. Here I come, Kiryu-chan! Show it to me! Show me the real dragon of Dojima! Alright. He's in his best form. Oh, that's one way to deal with him! Yeah, look at all those health bars. Ha! <laughs> I can just do it again! Sadly, it'd be less powerful. Oh, well, that's one way to deal with them. Oh, he's a slippery guy. Oh, I couldn't even take advantage. Oh, there's a weapon! Do I want it? Might be something to consider. Oh! How did that not get blocked? Uh, somehow that did! I thought that was gonna be delayed. Come on, come at me. I'm waiting for you. I mean, he's got like those long frame animation attacks. That's the best time to do it. I don't know where he's supposed to go to do it though. Like I know I got a move that requires me to be a set distance. But it's hard to get it gauged correctly. Come on! Win from you! There! Man, once you get that tiger strike, everything just goes a lot better. So close! Just a little more. Seriously. We're almost there. Hmm? What? You still want more? Huh? Kiri-chan, I need more. I know you're capable of more power than what you just showed me. You can become stronger. Don't give up. If you can keep pushing yourself, I can push myself harder too. Hmm. Oh, okay. See you later. Oh, great. Now we're at SS rank. Great. I guess this thing of Majima is not as over as I hoped it would be after this. I got Dagger Mastery. And the Mad Dog Gloves. Okay, so on top of that, like, while I was just, like, running around Kamurocho, I finally, finally found Majima as a zombie to get Essence of Sumo Slapping. I found him in the southeast part of town in an alley... Which I guess where I fought him before as a zombie. Make a sun move towards the enemy and slap them with your open hand. Okay, press R1 then triangle at enemy a set distance away. I thought you had to move towards the enemy and then you can do it. And then, I think I fought him like somewhere in the western part of town. When he was dressed up as uh, everyone's idol Goro. But I only fought him once to get Dragon Slow Burn 2. So that allows you to hold on to your heat even longer than before while in Dragon of Dojima style. Which is going to be pretty nice. So once I find Thug Majima in town and beat him, I can get Dragon Strength 2. Which will make my attack stronger. Go! 
Kazuma-kun! Oh. Majima-san, or Goro-kun. You finally came. I've been waiting for you to show up for a while now. Wait, have you ever played Pocket Circuit this whole time? You've really gotten into this. This shit ain't just for kids. When you get that modification just right for the course, it feels so damn good. Uh, true. And I guess you're starting to understand the appeal of Pocket Circuit. This time, I'm gonna become Camarocho's fastest. Let's get to the race. Alright, I accept any challenge. <laughs> Do you now? Then the race is on. Goro-kun's Dynamic Derby. Oh, that's a lot of turns to be making. Alright, it's time to customize this beast. I think spike tires would be good because of the turns. This frame is fine. This should be fine. That should be fine. This should be fine. And I guess I can take off the bumper. That should give us enough. Why am I this far ahead? I thought he would have made his car that much better. So I guess if you actually do this entire arc with the uh, pocket circuit, you would have a significant advantage against Majima. Like, way too significant. Wonder if I'll ever lap him or anything. So that would be pretty. Oh, wait, he's out! He's out! I bumped him! Hmm. <laughs> My machine! I lost? Huh. You got a ways to go. Huh? Damn it! Why? Why can't I win? Hmm? Are you really that upset about losing? Don't tell me you're taking this seriously. Uh. Of course he is! Goro-kun has been at the stadium every day to train, in hopes of winning against you, Kazuma-kun. Hmm? Pipe down, fighter. Let's not say anything that don't need saying. Is that so? I could tell that your race was better than before. That must be why. <sighs> Yet I still lost. Guess they don't call you Camarocho's fastest for nothing. Come back when you're stronger. I'll, I'll accept your challenge anytime. Huh. You bet your ass I'll be back. I'm coming for you. And until I do, don't you dare lose to anyone else. Later, Kazuma-kun. Alright, see you later. Mm. This growth is terrifying. I guess Majima-san is another of Pocket Circuit's chosen few. I have to stay at the top of my game, too. What? Who's calling me? The boss made me take a photo. He said once Kirichad sees me, he'll understand right away. Seems he wants some toy car competition he called Pocket Circuit. But I just faced him. You mean I gotta face him again? Really? Oh, well, I guess he'll already be back. Kazuma-kun! Goro-kun? Listen up, Kazuma-kun. It's finally done. The greatest pocket circuit machine ever made! The Majima GT! <laughs> With this, the title of Kamurocho's fastest is all but mine! You sound pretty confident. 
Losing isn't an option, no. So let's race. The need for speed is flowing through my veins. Ugh. No more words needed then. We'll settle this on the track. Oh, it's only four laps. I don't think I need high capacity for this one. I think a regular battery will be enough. And this one on a bumper plate, too. Other than that, I think I'm good to go. Let's see how much faster he's gotten. Oh, he's definitely faster. I'm not completely ahead of him too much. Because it's four laps, I have more than enough to do. Alright, I gotta do the loop on the last lap. Don't you screw this up now. I win. I am still the fastest. I... Lost? It's over. Huh. Ha 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 The dragon of Dojima is the beast on the streets and the ace of the race. I half expected this, Kazuma-kun. <laughs> Your machine was incredible, Goro-kun. Your ability to customize a machine to this level in such a short time is actually pretty scary. It don't matter. The title can only go to one man, and that's you. You are Kamarocho's fastest. So you best have the confidence to back that shit up. Then you're not looking for a rematch? Yeah. Nah, this is the end. If I keep this shit up, I'm gonna forget the joy of punching dudes in the face. I gotta retire my wheels. Hmm. That's back to selling things the old way. I'm gonna give you this. And you better like it. The Wild Snake? Oh yeah, that's Majima's car. But, just cause we're done with pocket circuit races don't mean I'm done with you by a long shot. I'm gonna be on your ass wherever you go, so be ready for me, Kazuma-kun. <clears throat> the races may be done, but my connection to Majima-san is far from over. Our struggle continues. <laughs> Dragon Speed Reborn! Okay, that's pretty fitting. Okay, so now I can attack faster while I'm in Dragon Stance. Okay, and I still gotta get this email solved. He said he might try to sneak up on me. I guess that's what it says in the email. Sorry. But I got the gloves. What do the gloves do? These black leather gloves unlock your energy reserves when you are close to death. I guess I could put that on for a while. Sorry. Some of those attacks while he was spinning didn't even count. What was up with that? Okay, okay. I lose. Come on. Why do I have to fight you on top of everyone? Blah, 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 blah. Learn Dragon Strength 2. There we go. So now I do more damage. Okay, I gotta beat Thug Majima twice to get Double Finisher Reborn. Cool. I should probably get some food. Maybe I'll try around this spot. This seems like a much bigger one. I'll just hang around and see if I can find Majima again that's actually tied to the email. Okay, it took me a while, but I just ran into this random guy just outside of Millennium Tower. You're a real eyesore, yuck is a trash. Not the way you normally greet people. I don't gotta greet shitty Yakuza. 
I'm doing this city a favor by kicking your ass. Oh, by the way, I fought Manjima again, just when he was under a manhole. Oh, there he is. Are we having fun yet? And all of a sudden, I wound up getting double finisher reborn because of it. Okay, I need to get rid of these thugs first. Was I fought him in Mad Dog form? So let's do this thing. Good, I have one more ready for ya. Oh, I didn't prepare for that one. I thought he was using his aura. Right on cue. Oh, I don't have enough! So I couldn't use a Kiwami finisher if I wanted to. That could be a bit annoying, because it's telling me to use the heat move when I may not want to. Up oh, too early. I thought I was going to give Majima a rock bottom, and I just realized, no, that's actually for him. Not for me. Too early again. What kind of laugh is that? <laughs> now who's laughing? Okay, okay. I lose. Come on. Did that complete the condition? Dragon slow burn one, so I guess yes, it did. I'm surprised that worked because he's done this before. But I guess there's only special enemies in certain areas that do it. Like that guy with the sunglasses just outside Millennium Tower. I guess that was just specific. Alright, so I guess I gotta look for him again. Hopefully I can get him in everyone's idol form. Then I can work my way to this. But it looks like I'm getting a lot of my dragon abilities back, which is great. Hold on, didn't I get another email earlier? Or a cell phone call? Do you know the man called Hanya Man from this photo here, sir? He is a fighter in a coliseum our boss likes. I don't even know where the coliseum is in the first place. He said he wanted to see you fight Hanya Man. The boss is smiling oddly, so I think he's up to something. Be careful, okay. So I should go to the coliseum then. Good lord, this took me several minutes backing in and out of Breakout GP to finally get Hanya Man to show up, but he actually does here. I gotta make sure I don't actually lose, because I could actually be waiting in a few more minutes. Nationality unknown. Yeah, I don't believe you on that one. <laughs> oh my god. He dropped himself over. What a moron. I can't believe he did that. Man, this is... Oh, wow, I actually walked back into the bullet like a dumbass. See, this is why I love using Breakout Cop, because the AI can be so stupid. Oh, you again. 
Oh, you immediately recovered. Good for him, I guess. Oh well, guess I might as well just beat him too. So I think all I need to do is beat Hanya Man and I got the condition met. Oh, he's not committing. I guess that back step is just a counter move. Or counter stance. There. Get the hell out of here, I'm done with you. That was my 30th Coliseum Cup, too. Beautiful. Yellow Dragon Spirit. But this one could actually be pretty good. So here's what it does. You recover health when you perform heat actions. So that'll cut down on some of the healing I need to do. Which is gonna be really nice. Alright, I still need to find uh, everyone's idol Goro in town again. And that one could take a while, but I guess we'll see how long it takes. A few minutes later, I still haven't even found the uh, everyone's idol again. But instead, I fought him again as a zombie, and now I get this call. Kiri-san, this is Nishida from the Majima family. I thought we were done with this. Didn't you say the last time would be the end? Um, actually, this call isn't about the boss. Really? Then why are you calling me? Well, haven't you heard the rumors? The one about the man with the terrifying face that appears in West Park? Nope. They say that if he appears before you, he'll suck out your very soul until you die. The homeless guys in the area are all terrified. Just Majima's son, isn't it? No! Why would you insinuate that? You've gone to way too much effort to create the atmosphere for this one. You just told me you created the atmosphere. Fine then. So Majima's son's in West Park, right? Right! Er, no! No! He isn't! It's the man with the terrifying face! Anyway, you better be careful. If he gets you, the boss will never forgive you for costing him his favorite pastime. Goodbye, Kiryu-san. A man with a terrifying face who appears in West Park, huh? Who could it possibly be? If it turns out to be anyone but Majima-san, I think I'd actually be more surprised. Alright, where's the uh, close- oh, okay, the close text is just right there. I almost wound up getting in a fight with some, like, uh, gangsters, too. And then the call came, and then it just despawned them completely. Not that I'm complaining. Anyway, I guess I'll just do this fight with, um, Majima, and then I'll end the episode, and I guess we will continue on from the main story. Alright, so where in West Park is this guy? The man with the scary face. I'm already at pretty good health, so... I don't think I should be in any danger. Yeah, I figured it'd be Hanya, man. Hmm? Cool. Is that a Hanya mask? So you realize I'm here. Good. Hey, give up the act, Majima-san. You're too damn creative for your own good. good. Hey, Majima-san. That's you, right? Many. Damn. Something's off about this. I have to fight him. If you're really fighting Majima, is it really off? Look, it's the exact same fighting style. Huh. 
I love when that happens, when I hit him once and then he does a full combo. I only need to hit him one time to trigger it. And if I miss my attack once, I'm punished. Completely. Okay, and that time I missed the timing. How did I miss it again? Not liking how tight this area is. Can we just go somewhere a little more open? Man, now I can't get Tiger Drop at all! <laughs> I know there's weapons there that I could use too. Oh, there we go. Oh, great. The boundary's all the way back there. So I can't go into the open space. To get better camera control. Come on, do something. So I can punish you for it. This is just me. It doesn't feel like Tiger Drop does, like, obscene damage. Like, more than I expect it to. Good. Actually, come to think of it, when he's in that aura, he's more aggressive. So it's easier when he gets blue. Hmm. What's the meaning of this? Hey, why don't you speak? What? Hey, wait. <laughs> Damn. He's creepier than I thought. I actually got scared. I can just imagine Majima-san giggling under that mask. Unwavering spirit? And I got a pummeling bat, too. Alright. When you are calm, you feel no pain even if hit by a bullet or blade. A state that was awakened by coming in contact with Majima's madness. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. Okay, so I would like to defeat Majima one more time in town. Probably before I advance the story so I can at least get extreme dragon speed. Okay, so but it's only during heat mode that I get this. Hmm. Or maybe I can wait till, like, the near end. I think that's what I'll do. I'm not going to worry about the speed that much because I have Tiger Drop. So let me stop the video here, and then the next part, we'll actually talk to Dante and continue on the story. See everyone, thanks for watching.